guys, we're in Robies. We're in Bowdies, North Carolina. Look at all this fabric to choose from, guys. And this is just the front of the store. But I asked if they let me do a quick walkthrough, and there's nobody in here but me. I mean, if you're in this area and you need fabric, they got every kind of fabric you want. And their prices range from like $6.98 and up. Look, $5.98 and up, my bad. <laughs> A yard. And they do have 108s, which I just bought some 108. They have back quarters, pre cut choose from all cons all colors but you just kind of gotta walk through and let's see boutiques they have college And then back here we have batting, we have upholstery material, we have flannel, we have fleece, we have leather. And over here is some of their seasonal, which I just got. Christmas. And I can tell you that Christmas has dwindled down, so maybe they'll, um, more Christmas in. Here's their fleece. Nice big selection. Juvenile flannel. And then you go into oh, over here's like like a minky kind of upholstery and everything else to do upholstery. You need to redo a chair, some outdoor furniture, anything. <laughs> it's in here. Pillow fillers, everything. And I, I am going to get a pillow filler because we're always making pillows. Look at all the upholstery material. Because I'm probably going to be redoing my chairs. My kitchen chair soon. Foam. Foam for your chairs, your couches. I need one of these small pillows. came out of and this will bring you back to the front the laces trims the last oh how pretty is this There's more guys. There are more fat quarters than that. There's their more pre-cut fat quarters. Free book library. Does this mean we can take a book? <gasps> what? I have to go through that. If you 
free cuts right here. Look like at this. Look like how pretty. Yes. Every button in the world. Thread, scissors, stamps, more buttons. She's got my fabric sitting over here. <laughs> yeah, guys. You're in valleys. Stop by rabies. Okay, so you saw the little walkthrough of Roby's fabrics. So now, let's see the haul. Um, if you saw the little bookshelf there that said free books, free library, I did grab grab two magazines. Um, and guys, these are from 2016. And this one is from 2013. The patterns are still perfectly fine. So this one was... McCall's February, March 2016 quick quilts. And you know me, I like a quick, quick, easy quilt. And this one on the front grabbed my attention. Looks super easy. Looks like we could probably get away with using jelly rolls with that. And then this one, it was Christmassy. So that one grabbed my attention as well. And of course, that was December, January for 2014. Uh, even though it says display until 2013, whatever. Um, but anywho, got two free magazines to ponder over. You saw I got a pillow uh, insert because we are going to be making some pillows. And the rest of my haul is in this bag. Okay. So, Miss Lauren and I, and I'm going to try to get a hold over this evening um, to see. Because, guys, we're coming up on Halloween quick, which we still have. It's sad. Halloween is almost here, you know? And the hubby said he was talking to somebody at work. He's like, yeah, my wife is really upset. I hadn't even said anything to him, but he's like, my wife's really upset because we always go up on the parkway in the mountains every year and spend like a day up in the mountains. And we can still do that. There are still little towns that are wanting people to come in to for tourism. So... I'm off next Saturday. We might take a little drive and go somewhere next Saturday. We haven't decided yet because I just mentioned it to him today when I called him. Um, so we'll see. But uh, Miss Lauren and I are going to do a pumpkin. So that can go into Thanksgiving depending on what fabric you use. Table runner. And I needed some oranges because I pulled out a few. But I wanted more cheerful orange, you know, like so it could go into Thanksgiving. Um, so I grabbed these and I might have grabbed uh, I might have grabbed another big piece of this because this was from a trip last week and this is from a trip this week. So I grabbed these. I was running through Valdez really quick and I thought I'm going to run in there and they were getting ready to close so I did not want to hold her up. So I got this one. Look how pretty. And then this one. I think this is one I got a big piece of. And then this one, this one's a little more yellow toned. And then this one. <laughs> and then this, I think, is a lighter one of the other one. So that's what one, two, three, four, five, five um, quarter yards, not fat quarters, quarter yards, but um, it calls for scrap. So, and I already had some in a bag back there. Yeah, this table back here is a hot mess. Because I did these two table runners, if you did not see these quick and easy table runner gifts. Um, quilt as you go. I use scrap, or actually this was a Moda scrap bag, and this was a jelly roll to make the same table runner. I'll leave that linked up above for you guys. But quick and easy gifts, and there's still remnants of that floating around back there. Because <laughs> I have not gone here and cleaned it up. So here is fabric for the pumpkin table runner. I'm going to sit that right over there. This is a 108 and I got two yards because I did not know how much I needed. And I don't know what I'm looking for. I just got to find it. Let me move all this out of my way. I was hoping, because when you're looking at pictures on your phone, just try to match up fabric. It doesn't always match up, but you guys know I'm usually pretty good about matching up fabric. But it would go, and I still need to work and finish on this. 
I was hoping, and it does, pick up this kind of color here. And it's kind of a grungy material. But that's what I was hoping it picked up on, was this. And it does pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, trying to match up fabric and all you have is the picture on your phone. It's kind of hard. So, um, got two yards of 108 on that. Guys, there's nowhere to put anything. I gotta get in here and get organized. And then I found what I'm gonna do with the Christmas Adventures charm pack, which is that cute little charm pack that has the camper trailers on it. Um, it's back over there somewhere because I just had it looking at it. But I found a YouTube tutorial using that exact same charm pack, and they're making pillows. And um, I wanted some fabric that would probably correspond, and I think both of these will. Um, this is To Be Jolly by Canoe 2 from Moda. And I don't know how old this is because Roby's gets like overstock fabric. Um, I don't know where they get it from, but it's like overstocks and, and things like that. So I think this will go really well with it because I pulled that up on my phone as well to look at the colors. It's right here, actually. I spy. This charm pack. And maybe I needed it to be a little bit more green than aqua. There is some blue in there. I have this yardage and see these cute little Christmas trees I grabbed this I think that look good but again like I think that'll be okay um, just to mix in with it because there's blue over here and then I grabbed this piece right here but I was thinking there was aqua for some reason and really, it's more of a mint green. So, I don't know about this guy. Um, I just liked it. like that aqua color. But I am going to put it all together. See, I have this little piece of yardage, too. And all that can stay together. I don't know if it'll fit back in this bag now or not with all that. But, um, we're going to give it a swirl. <laughs> so, I got a yard of each on those. Because, like I said, yardage in there is $5.98, $6.98, $9.98. I mean, it's, it's cheaper than your regular quilt store. Because usually most quilt star stores are charging 10 and up a yard. 10 to 12 to 15. And they've got it at 5 7 you know, 8 Okay, I'll try to get the rest of that closed here in a minute. So there was that bundle. I got these two fat quarters, and I don't even know what they're from. And you know, I'm always thinking of, to use with something else. To use maybe with this old glory. Um, but it's two fat quarters. They had three, but I just got two, so that's a half a yard. And that goes really, really good with that. So um, I am going to leave that up there if I can get the little drawer closed. So got that. Um, here is a big piece of that orange. I might use this for the backing. I had another piece that I thought I might use, um, but I might use this instead with this. So I'm going to put those together. And then the last thing I got, and there's my receipt. I need to put that in my little binder. Is a panel. Most panels, you know, run kind of up and down. This one runs long ways. Can you guys see all that? Is that not pretty? Oh my gosh. So that is my Roby's haul. And I will leave all their information, their address. Um, if, if they have a Facebook or anything like that, I will leave it linked down below. And their, um, 
their address and their uh, hours because I know they're closed. They're closed on Wednesdays. I think they're open till five every day. But Saturday, I want to say, I, I, I got a picture of their hours and it'll be probably before this. So it'll show their hours. But that is my Roby's haul. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And if you're ever in this neck of the woods, be sure you stop and check them out because they have fantastic deals on fabric and everything else you could probably need for your quilting or upholstery. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.